Then again, Jesus said to them, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. That's what Jesus has said to his disciples and he has been saying even up to today's days. After he said those things to his disciples, he just look at the eyes and say again, He who comes with me will not be walking in the dark, but will have the light of life. That is Jesus Christ. Person that every single human in the earth must hear from. And I'm very quite sure that there is a extremely short number of people that had not heard about him. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He has come to this world to bring light to those who were walking in darkness. As Romans chapter 3 verse 23 say that everyone has born in darkness. Light was lost. So he has come to restore it. And he is restored among those who accept him. He is the light of life. So if there is something that is pushing you, something that is taking away your happiness, taking away your confidence, taking away those things that you want really to achieve or to have, that you might think that they will bring you happiness, then here is Jesus Christ of Nazareth that is asking you to allow him to come into your life to work this out together with you. Do not reject the message for there is lots of beautiful answers to your life all the way through. He had making a powerful statement to his disciples. He makes a he makes a powerful statement here. I am the light of this world. I come to you and I found all of you in darkness. You crazy running from the south to the north, from the north to the south, from the east to the west. I'm finding nothing of those things that you're looking for. Years has gone by. You already 10, 15, 20, 30, somebody, some other 40, people have 60, 70, 80, 90 years and they had no money to achieve. They had no money to achieve the goals that they were dreaming for. But the answer is there. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am the light of this life. Whoever comes and walks with me, they will never walk in darkness because I'm the light. So if we need that light to shine in our life, let's get together. Let's accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's accept his counseling. Let's accept his proposal of salvation. Let's open our hearts to him and walk together with him. So, we cannot dismiss something if we have not tried it yet. We cannot dismiss, listen to this, we cannot dismiss something 
if we had not tried it yet. We must try. Or at least ask to somebody else that try for us. Somebody that trustable, obviously. Jesus says to his disciples, Jesus says to somebody, I am the true and living way. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's another powerful statement. So that means that how many of us how many of us through the years we are looking the way we are looking how we're gonna do to get closer to our creator to god to the almighty creator of the, the whole universe. But many of us say, well, he's, he's not there. Why? Because we don't really know. But I give you good news. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now is, he's the light and he also make a powerful statement that he's the way. Also, it's the truth. So he's not light. He's not lying. He's not going to let you down if you come to him. Now, but that is a business that comes to us. But if he is that powerful personality, if he, he is that powerful, I want you to know why he's coming to you. Because you might be thinking, oh, after, I'll be careful with this. You might be thinking, that you're worth nothing. You might say no. And just. Got no values. And throw them down. And living alone. Live on myself. I got family but I had no principles. I'm not respecting myself. I'm full of sin. And already in hell. The devil owns me. I mean you can make many statements against you. Or people can make it against you. Either way, it doesn't matter. Either way, it works. It's, I mean, if anyone's letting himself to be put in down, it's, it happened. Now, but the Lord is telling you something. Be glad and full of joy, for great is your reward in heaven. For so were the prophets attack who were before you. The prophet before you were attacked too. So all these things will come against you. The same thing that comes against you. Right, that have already comes against those people that we are in front of you. So it's nothing for you to let yourself to be down. So this Matthew chapter 5 verse 12. Is bringing to you a message to tell you to rejoice. Do not be put in off. Rejoice yourself. But remember, don't be putting off and give it a try first before you say that you don't like it or you don't want it. Because there's a lot of potential within you. But you must allow this potential to explode. To, 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 to explode it. To, I don't know, to, to spring it out. If you let this potential to go out, that will be why. Because you know, but then you say why. Then you might, you, yeah, yeah, you, you might say why. I mean, actually, why? Jesus said this. Because you are the condiment. You are the flavor. You are the salt of this air. Without you, the air will be tasteless. It will have no taste. Without you, it will be no colors on the air. You're the one who gives life to this world. You and me are the flowers across the garden. 
So that's why we got to understand ourselves which value we have and do not allow the darkness to put it us down. Now, let's go. We continue here. Say this. But if it is the taste goes from the, from the soul, how will you make it so again? It is then good for nothing but to be put it out and crushed under the foot by men. Now, that is what the devil wants. For you to believe that you were nothing so he can crush you down. But now the Lord Jesus comes and is telling you that he's bringing to you an, a, 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 a proposal for you to accept it and to try and to discover what is within you. By then, he will be either way. You will be crushing the devil down. So you will be a king and you will be enjoying what you have. Now, to close it down, the Lord said this. A burning light is not put under a vessel, but on its table. On the table. So that its rise might be shining on all who are in the house. You. When Jesus comes to you, and you become a light, because he's the light, and he's in, he's, if he's in within you, you become a light, you will shine it. And he, the light within you, and you are the soul, it will give life and also give it taste. So it will be much more colorful and beautiful. Now, if it is, is that way, so let this light to be shining before men, so that they might see you works and glorify the Lord all the time. My conclusion to you is, Allow Jesus to shine within you and also enjoy yourself proving the wonderful tastes that are within you, combining with his light to give a life to many others. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. And remember, do not dismiss the message. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. And the Holy Spirit give you direction and to remember you.